Welcome to Bible Talk Tuesdays with me. Hi, it's Kayla. Sorry you had to see that. I was eating. From now on, I'm going to be posting video each Tuesday talking about the Bible. <laughs> I got to this one. Hopefully, as we're doing this, I can help myself and you learn more about the Word of God. So please watch. I have the True Images Bible. We're going to start with beauty. Proverbs 11:22 NIV version says, "Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion." So basically, if you're the most physically beautiful girl in the world, that doesn't mean anything unless you're beautiful in here. True beauty grows from the inside out. So ugly, I'm so bad. Ew. Stop. Who are you or me to insult God's handiwork? He made you like he wanted you to be. He made you in his image. Let's look at Psalm 139, 13 through 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. You're valuable. And why are you valuable? For one reason. Because you're his. Hold up. <laughs> we were bought with a price on the cross. You're worth a lot more than you think you are. There's a many times where I'm like, I have nothing to wear. I'm just not going. I'm going to stay home. But Matthew 6, 28 says, Why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers in the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that's how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? We mean more to him than the grass of the field. We shouldn't obsess about our body or physical beauty anyway. God and any smart guy judges a woman worth by her strong, virtuous, and dignified character, not her accessories. Read Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 for tips on having a noble character. Proverbs 31, 10 says, Wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. 1 Samuel 16, 7. But Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at things people look at. People look at that with appearance. The Lord looks at the heart. God chose David to take Saul's place as king because of his heart. In Isaiah 3, 16 through 24, the Lord's talking about the women of Zion. He said the women of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes, run along with swaying hips, ornaments jingling on their ankles. Now, God has nothing against trendy clothes or accessories, but these women were self-centered, vain. They cared way more about their appearances than about honoring God. That's where they messed up. So because of this, the Bible says that the Lord brought sores in the heads of the women. He made their scalps fall. They were so proud about their appearances and about themselves, rather than humbling themselves before God. Make sure you honor God with all that you are inside and out. Let's talk about Isaiah 53. He's speaking about Jesus. He grew up before him like a tender tent and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. See, Jesus wasn't even physically attractive. Maybe God made him that way so people wouldn't follow him for just his good looks. Rather, his followers were drawn to his heart, his character. Timothy 2 9 it says that all women should dress modestly with decency and propriety, giving themselves not with elaborate hairstyles, gold or pearls, or expensive clothes, but with good deeds appropriate for women who profess to worship God. When Paul wrote this, his point was that when you get noticed, it shouldn't be by your outward appearance. 1 Peter 3 5 says, your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles, the wearing of gold jewelry, or fine clothes. Rather, it should be from your inner self and the unfailing beauty of a gentle class spirit, which is a great way to God's eye. Get your face on my video. Here's a pocket cross. Do you know what I mean? She actually made things. See how fat that thing is? <laughs> what does it mean to have a beautiful heart? Mm -hmm. That you're not. Not caring for other people. Caring for people you love. I got two of my teeth. It's me. Yeah, I'm back. Self. 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 <laughs> What's beauty to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs>